Wow. Look at this. It's fighting against me. That's what I'm talking about. Is that like standard Chicago pizza slicer? Uh, you know, I, I, I just kind of wanted the biggest, baddest knife. Previously on Really Dough. My name is Scott. I live and breathe pizza. But Mark is a pizza purist. Sauce, cheese, and dough. No exceptions. They're doing weird stuff. Sounds good. crispy. Ramen pizza. This is not pizza. I don't care if you like it or not. I want to watch you eat it. 24 karat gold pizza. It's not a pizza. We got pizza bagels right here. Dessert pizza. It's not pizza. Sauce and cheese, that's it. It is a pizza. Cheeseburger pizza. Pizza or not pizza? I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore. I don't no, know. No, 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 no. Here's a question. Here's a question. I got a question. Mark. Well, question. Why isn't there that much deep dish pizza in New York? Not today, Scott. Why not today? Because I'm really busy. You're not busy. Like yeah. Your biz looks like you're building a sandcastle. What are you drawing? It's a snow angel. No, a snow angel. That looks like a snow angel. The whole point of the snow angel. No, because when you go like this with your feet, and then you go like this with your arms, yeah. and that's your head. That's a snow angel. Yeah, but then you went in and gave it. You're messing it up. It's like a Rorschach test. What do you see? It's me, you know, Scott. I brought you a pizza. Let's make a pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. You eat a lot of pizza. I want you to make one. I like this. You set the rules on what is pizza, yet I don't know anybody else who uses a wine bottle to open up a dough. Feels like practicing this long, you do this a little faster. Yeah, yeah. The time it took you to roll that out, I could have got deep dish pizza. All right, then why don't you go and get the deep dish pizza from Emmett's? Emmett's, yeah! You're right. Are you telling me that you want a deep dish pizza right now? Yeah. I like deep dish. You do? Yeah, but I wouldn't call it pizza. It's more of a casserole. You know that that hurts. Yes. But why not? How about you go get one, and we'll figure it out. You're gonna take a few bites, and then you're gonna make a proclamation? A what? A proclamation. Yeah, a proclamation. You know what that? Yeah, yeah. We'll do a side by side. A side by side? Pizza, casserole. All right, all right, I'll be back. Emmett, Scott, how are you, sir? Welcome. I got a uh, situation that requires your expertise. Okay. So I've been eating a bunch of pizza with Mark Iacono. You and Mark have kind of history. I don't want to say headbutting. You won one bet. Yeah. It was actually over the Cubs Mets a couple years ago. They won that series. We won the next, but he was afraid to bet on the on the next. And um, yeah, he 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 won a bet. So you know, we like to get into debate about okay. whether or not certain things are pizza. You make deep dish pizza, and some people call this thing a casserole. I would argue the New York slices that I've had are just like paper plates with pepperoni and cheese on it. You know, and I think there's a lot of people in Chicago and, and elsewhere around the world that would probably argue that this is really the superior form of pizza. Their issue is that you are required to use a fork and knife to eat. If you were to look at a lot of people who eat pizza in Naples, they're eating with a knife and a fork. This got a lot deeper than I thought I was gonna get. Well, hey, that's what we do here, we get deep. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Wow, that was good. I've been setting that one up. We can keep debating this, but I think there's one way to settle it, and that's for me to make you a pizza. You know what I'm thinking. Thank you, sir. As Emmett got to work, I reflected back on Mark's pizza rules, and I knew I had this one in the bag. Which is good, because I've kind of been testing my luck lately. You want my credit card? It's already in my pocket. How did you even get in here? Uh, you gave me a key. Today's day and age, it's not pizza. I'm gonna borrow your book. But come on, it's Chicago deep dish pizza. Pizza's in the name. There's nothing he won't like about this. Pizza should look as good as it tastes. When you walk into a pizzeria, the aroma should punch you right in the face. Sauce, cheese, dough, that's it. Pizza should be eaten with your hands, never a fork and knife. Ah, oh, crap. All right, well, Emmett better knock this one out of the park. And now we return to making a classic Chicago deep dish. It's bottom of the ninth, and the bottom of the pan needs cheese. Two kinds, whole milk and skim mozzarella. The bases are loaded. We've got onions on first, green peppers on second, and Chicago's world-famous sausage on third. Tossing to Emmett, who's got eyes on the action. New York might do bagels right, but for pizza and sausage, it's Chicago. But from the nosebleeds comes the delicious tomato sauce, spray hitting into every nook and cranny. A sprinkle of pecorino makes this a home run, you know, like in baseball. Now just wait 30 minutes. Hungry. That's what I'm talking about. This looks... What's the deal? It's not cut. No, it's not cut. So Why? I... No, you can't touch that. Actually, any baker will tell you that, you know, you don't really want to eat bread right out of the oven. So that's what we have a, a three minute timer there for. So oh. you can't touch the pizza. You can't eat the pizza until the time is out. Then you sit there and you just stare. Yeah. 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 This feels like an eternity. Kind of 
have like a, a, a mental clock on our own when we first opened, but my brother said, you know, we got to do like a lot of different glass. ways of, of raising children. And, and I think in, in Kingpin, where all the Amish to people. You know, and, and, like, and like I love Travolta, like he's, he's, he's done, done some great, great work. Well, we're going to check. Emmett. Okay, well, I guess it's time to cut the pizza, right? Do you want me to hold this thing then? You know, it's better if you don't. This is stable. Pizza should be eaten with your hands, never a fork and knife. Mm. I guess I don't really need a fork and knife for this thing after all. All right, I gotta take a bite of this thing. Can you handle the slice breakdown? Yeah. There's not as much crust as you might think, right? And as I think Scott can attest, oh yeah, it's, it's much airier and it's not as dense as people would say. The thing that we do differently is we put the cheese on bottom and then we layer it with toppings and the sauce on top. But oh, um, I just got sausage, finally. People don't really eat sausage on pizza here in New York. Pepperoni is the go-to topic. Pepperoni is the go-to topic. Where in Chicago, it's the opposite, right? I think people assume the sausage is going to be sliced. What's that? I mean, sliced sausage. Come on, man. It's like you know, we might as well get a DiGiorno pizza. It's embarrassing. We're happy to uh, educate and enlighten people, and and you know, I'm going to enlighten myself with some of your sausage. Thank you very much. <laughs> Not a euphemism. Try to keep it PG. I don't care if Mark thinks it's pizza or it's not. I know it absolutely is. If he likes it, you guys shake hands. A truce among the tribes. What do you think? You know, for the good of pizza in general, you know, I think we could be stronger together. Okay. Thanks again. Hey, thanks for coming in. I'll see you soon. I hope so. Oh, Mark, watch out. Thanks for cleaning that off for me. Feel it. Just feel this. Jesus, how many paws you got in here? One deep dish pizza. Oh boy. You're gonna have to do a couple extra miles on your bike. All right, now look at this. Does that not look like a casserole? Casseroles aren't round. What are they? Rectangular. All right. Point, Scott, you're down. You've had this. You've had deep dish pizza, and I know you and Emmett, you even have like a little friendly rivalry, right? Yes. He actually owes me a week's worth of work. He has to work for you? Yes. When the Mets played the Cubs in the pennant, we had a little bet, and uh, the Mets won. What would have happened if the Cubs won? I would have had to work for him. Oh, yeah? He was in a win-win situation. Why, because working for you is such a joy? Yes. Well, I should tell him that yes. being in your presence for more than 20 minutes at a time has its price. Are we gonna eat this? Yeah, we're gonna eat this. Now, this is interesting because in Chicago, the pizza boxes are designed differently because of how deep these pizzas are. They open up on the sides and then the walls collapse. Right. So it's a New York pizza yeah, box. Yeah, do your thing. But you know what you do? Just slide it over to the other side and now you've got collapsed walls. It's free. All right, let's do this. Okay, you have a plate? Yep. Can we use, ah, paper plates. Paper plates. The fine china of New York. Do you have a fork and knife? No, you're not in Chicago, you're in New York. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's fighting against me. It's like going fishing for a great white shark. You're like pulling against it. Careful. Wow. I'll spot you. Look one slice that. is like one of my pizzas. Watch, That's gonna watch me. My Look, no fork, no knife. What toppings do you taste in there? The pepper. What? Onion. Yeah. A lot of tomato. Yeah. Cheese. Yeah. That's it. No. Oh. There's something, I just got. I just got it. The sausage. Yeah, look at this. It's, it's the pepperoni sausage. of Chicago. You don't even have sausage on your menu. I know, because that It's an off the menu item. Yeah, it still says grand opening coming soon yep. on your menu. You've been open how long, 10 years? Well. Crust, sauce, cheese, toppings. I'm really curious to see how you're gonna try to argue with me that this is not a pizza. Have you ever had like tuna casserole with your hands? No. So you're eating this with your hands? Yes. It's not a casserole. So what is it then? Not only is this pizza, it's a really, really good one. It is a pizza. Chicago pizza. Okay, so. Thank you, Emmett. So it's just a different type of pizza. Yes. If the genus is pizza, the species is Chicago. Yes, uh, yeah. Would you ever take a slice of deep dish pizza over a New York slice? No. Okay. And now you folded the box upside down Get and out. you're telling me to leave. Go. I understand. You don't want to keep any of this? No. For breakfast, for dessert? Listen, it's been a pleasure as always. Okay, I guess I'm gonna bring this to somebody else's pizzeria. I gotta get a new lock on my door.
Thanks for following the wormhole all the way to us. The wormhole? The wormhole. Yeah, in, in, like, like in space. Oh, or the black hole. No, it's different. Black hole is infinite nothing, and a wormhole gets you from one spot to another. You never watched Star Trek? It was my favorite show. I made a pizza for Picard. No! It's set right here. No! Yeah. No! Yeah. Engage. John Luke Picard, I can't do it. I know you can't do it. It's okay though. You made him pizza. Oh wait, so what's the line? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Thrillist and check out our other Really Do episodes. And then there might be other things you want to do. Is that my cue? And don't forget to like, comment, and share. Good.